okay open the url your local host and whatever the code we have written okay so this is the basic code what we have used earlier and we are going to learn this i have used this text right i want to make the color so that is the style sheet is going to be that is css is going to appear we are going to learn in the coming class that how this css can be used in different ways like there is the internal link external link and on the page also it is there okay so this we will be learning in coming session i'll tell you now just basic how the css can be added into the paragraph i suppose now i want the this red color i want a low color for the particular text we have used heading tag also okay this is the heading tag we have used now for this heading also i want this color to be change then how you will use that is the actually use of css already we have discussed that css is nothing it's the way of representing that means your presentation of the document that is the html document with styling that means there is the good looking should be there of your html page so for that we are going to use the css okay so this is the things hope you all even if you want to practice along with me you open your code on your system anyone want to open that means use the code with along with me yes sir how many of you are there please say yes or no see i will be not able to see the chat because i am on the screen okay so please respond unmute and respond yes sir yes sir okay everyone please open your code okay so now you can see that i have used uh, paragraph tag we'll go to the our paragraph tag okay so where we have used the pre tag okay now i want the color of the first line what we have used okay so this is our first paragraph right if you take a look the output screen that is still carrots we have the our where is that first line okay this is the okay so because last class already we have used the style sheet if you remember so this is also a css okay now what we want we want to use the color take any line or create a new paragraph you can see that already we have the paragraph list what i'll do today just before this mark you i'll create another paragraph okay and i'll mention this is my css style demo for web development whatever you want you just write it i'll close the paragraph okay so i'll just close it and just refresh and see the output what output we are going to get you can see that this line is appeared here now we'll use another heading tag also okay the same place i'll be using here one heading tag h1 okay and i will make that my css is best presentation or anything whatever you want okay and close the heading tag save it okay so two just tag we have given now you can see that the difference between these two 
that is one is very simple letter is coming and another one is coming in the bold letter right now suppose i want the color for this two we were not knowing that how the color can be defined now the role of css is going to involve it now we have to add the style sheet that means the syntax for the style whenever you want the style sheet for the any tag you can implement directly okay here in the paragraph that means this is the paragraph tag now you are going to add the attribute what attribute you are going to add a style you can see that the style i'm writing and then you have to give the is equal to okay then you have to give the double quotes you can see that automatically it will get open and close and between the style we have seen the syntax rule in previous class that you have to use the that is property and value pair always okay so i have to use the properties what properties you want that we want color hope you remember in previous class we have discussed about the different font properties okay you can just go through this you will get to know that so if you want the color simply color is there okay you can use the color okay so you have to use the style okay i am using the style and i have to use here property that is the property will be color the moment you type color you can see that there are a lot of options are there so you can de depend on your requirement you can use i am going to use just simple color only okay color then you have to give the colon okay because we have to use the property and value so this is the color is the property colon value value what will be there i want green color you can write green also you can write the color code also hashtag whatever we have discussed in previous class and with the semicolon okay the same way in heading tag also you are going to give a style okay is equal to then color colon and you have to give the which color you want i want orange or i want as a pink okay and semicolon so you have to close this this style sheet is closed save it okay we wrote the two style sheet that is the two code we have added here and just come to the our output screen now refresh it now you can see that color the color is got changed now can you see that this is the green color it is not getting reflected because the background what you are using similar so let's use this as a red and save it the moment you save you can see there so the color is getting changed now it looks little bit beautiful right so this is the use of actually the css the cascade style sheet same way if you need the font size even you can use the font size font properties okay there are several different ways are there that also will be learning in the coming border even border you can use just you give your semicolon a space you can see that border automatically it is coming border so what border property is there you should know the properties before using the border properties in html okay so what are the attributes you have in uh, border style sheet that is very important if you don't know then you will be not able to get that because there are a lot of border styles are there okay so when you are going to use border so border will be like it's actually it is style okay so in that style you are going to define you can see that what is the border meaning that means you have a text and you want this text to be in in bracket okay you want to be in the some uh what to say in the yes in the uh, round shape you want to be used okay 
so that purpose you are going to use the border style and when you are going to use the border style the primary tag should be there border a space hyphen okay a style you have to use so i have to use border you can see that there is a lot of syntax are there okay you can use anything whichever you want so you can see that border hyphen a style okay now in the style what you want to use because in this border there is not one tag which i can tell you that no you have to use this one this all will comes with your practice there is a dotted line dashed line solid line you want double line you want group that means 3d group border you want a, a 3d reduced border outset you want you don't want border you want the border to be hidden this this and all are the properties for the lines okay suppose i want the dashed line okay uh, what i'll do i'll just give here the value will be dashed okay and give the semicolon every time you have to give the semicolon let's save it and same way we'll take this code and we'll use here also for the different border okay so we'll make as a uh, something group okay save it gr double o v e okay now open this okay now just refresh can you see the difference now you can see the difference between this i've used the dash line that means this complete paragraph will be with the dash line so you can see the dash 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 and like how you do in the microsoft word or ppt if you want to project the next which i have used the group line this is a 3d you can see that there is a little bit difference between the normal bracket and this bracket so like this way you can define the style sheet that means you can design your html page so whichever you need you can use there are a lot of things are there it's not only one which we can teach you there is a margin padding height width box model outline text whatever you want you can define that way okay now suppose the entire on the body whatever the text i have used okay the text i want to be color okay so this will be used with help of css now we have to define the external css let's fin let's go to the our presentation then we'll come to the again that is the main importance there because we have to use the css with selectors only that is either use class selector either use id selector that is the best practice because see suppose you have another page right yesterday we have created another page called about also right i think so we created about dot html also we created right now suppose this page also if you want some color then what do you have to do you have to write the code again so for the same thing you will be writing the code multiple times so what happened the same code again you are going to write so the number of lines of code is getting increased on your browser that means you any obviously when you open anything then let's see that i'll open google.com okay might be you have not observed because you don't know in the how happened suppose i will be searching here anything i'll search u academy one day, okay and just enter if you enter you have not just you will open the website that's all finished. you will not see any other things see here something about there is 2520 result with the name of u academy and what we have searched this result has fetch in 1.01 millisecond that means once in within one second 2500 result has fetched okay now the moment you open the site the site whatever the css is there it will load you have to see the bottom if you see that it will show you the connect more if you want to just 
verify what are now things is getting opened just uh, press right click or inspect element okay click on inspect and different different browser different option but this option will be there the moment you click inspect there is the option okay called network okay now what i'll do i'll just refresh this page you will see that what are the things is going to open just refreshing now you can see here you can see here what are the things is getting loaded the entire whatever the code is getting u academy this green sock.js jquery.min.js this every page is getting loaded if you want to see the source even you can see the source what are the things are getting loaded you can see that this many things get loaded on your browser when you open any website even if you open same thing facebook.com and see the performance when you open the facebook you can see here the network you can see that when you open the facebook there are a lot of different see a style sheet it will show the document type also here you can see here document this is the facebook is the this is a document means your html or php document next this is the style sheet a style sheet you can see the different types of a style sheet different kind of a script then svg then gif image then png image again a style sheet so many script and so many others code are getting loaded on your browser this how actually the any website get open on your mobile device or on your computer or laptop